Howdy, everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is a continuation of working on the, uh, I want to say it's the left spar. It might be the right spar. I don't even know which one it is. Um, but working on the wings anyway. So this is me just continuing. What I'm doing here is I'm just drilling out the holes for the J channel that was on the bottom of the spar. Um, and what you do is you, you align it basically the same exact way that you align the one that's on the top. Um, you make sure you have your, I forget if it's 364 or whatever the measurement is um, on the space there. Okay. Fancy trick to measure is if you have a small little ruler, you just put the tape where your measurement is. And then when you set it on the thing, you don't really have to look at those small little lines. And when you're old, like me, and your eyes suck like mine do, it's really hard to see, you know, a sixteenth of an inch. Um, especially those little lines when it has a million of them on there. So if you put a little piece of tape on there, you can just set it and boom, look at it. It's pretty easy. For old guys like me, lifesaver. So yeah, the that little itty bitty amount, like you, I don't know if you can even tell. There's just a hair on that ruler there, that little <laughs> um, six inch ruler that I got. Um, but yeah, that's the easiest way to see it, um, especially if you're old um, or you need glasses and you refuse to get them or whatever the reason is. It's easier to see stuff. But anyways, those bottom ones, you put them on exactly the same way as you did the top ones but you don't drill where the, the access doors are. So the um, there's four, I think three or four spots along there where there's gonna be an access door. Um, so if you need to work on the flaps or the um, ailerons, you can access those. Um, so what you do is you take them and you just roll them over. And I, it, I read those instructions. I was like, what in the world is going on here? But it is true. You just roll them over to the front and attach them. And then the whole, all the holes line up. And then you drill out the ones that didn't get drilled out. So it worked pretty well, if I have to say so myself. Okay. The instruction said to roll it 180 degrees and then drill out the ones that you had there. So that's what I'm doing. We'll see if it works, see if it's right. So that's pretty much what I did is you just roll them basically end, not end over end, but top over bottom. You just roll them so that the, um, uh, so the J channel part is sticking up instead of sticking down, I guess is the easiest way to, to say that. Um, and then you drill out the holes that are that were missing that you didn't drill on the bottom on the top, and then you're good to go. And they, they line up perfectly well, so it's very interesting how that works out. Okay. So these J channels that you drilled out on the spar don't necessarily go on the spar. They will go in the wing and it's so the rivets are all spaced the same across the wing. So that's pretty cool. Neat way to do it. Fun. So I'll tell you a joke. So did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He needed a little space. <laughs> uh, uh, what is heavy forward, but not backward? A ton. Oh, it's stupid. That was stupid. I'm sorry. That was really bad. Oh, crazy. <clears throat> so then what they have you do with the spar 
a million times. That's an exaggeration, but it's roughly a million times. Is um, you drill out both sets of uh, holes where you're going to put the um, the th number three rivets, the th number three size rivets anyway. Um, and then they have you countersink all of them, all of the spots that are going to get a, um, a nut plate. All of those spots have, there's two rivets for each hole where the screw goes. And so each of those has to get countersunk so that your nut plate um, will be flush. So when the skin fits on it, it's nice and flush. But there's, without exaggerating, 100 maybe 150 of those that need drilled out. Um, and then there's the, all of the rivets that the skins get attached to, which also need countersunk um, as well. And so you end up countersinking every single hole in those flanges of the spar. Um, and there are a bunch of them here. I'll show a quick picture of all of the number and be aware that this isn't all of them. This is just a depiction of that they can fit on a page because there is actually more. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. But you countersink all of those holes, and then you also have to countersink where the screw will go um, in the nut plate because the skin will have a dimple on it where it fits. So I move the camera there so you can get a little bit better picture. So all of the big holes are where the nut, the screw goes. And then the ones I'm doing now are where the rivets are going to fit. <coughs> and with your, um, the little thing on the end of my drill there, the countersink cage, um, you have to make sure it's cleared out every so often. And so you end up blowing stuff out of it because that countersink bit We'll get stuff on it and then it'll stop. You know, it won't really go the correct depth. Um, so you have to clean it out and then do it again. And so you end up drilling every single hole with that countersink thing a, a time, once sometimes, but a lot of times you'll go back over it just to make sure it got all the way down so the rivet fits perfectly. And then you have three on the inboard, three nut plates on the inboard side, and four on the outboard side. And then this is me um, countersinking the bigger holes for the actual skins where the, the screw goes through. And, the, and it feels like you're putting a huge hole in that spar and you are it's it ends up being almost three-eighths of an inch um you know kind of opening there for the the skin it's a, it's pretty big um, but if you look on the instructions i'll show you those here real quick um it does say to do that it gives you some dimensions don't make it bigger than this make it you know this size but it, it looks rather large so be prepared for that. You'll look at it and be like, oh, holy crap, that's a that's a large hole. Um, it's kind of odd. And then that's me just cleaning them up. As always, um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments, uh, like and subscribe the video if you would, please, and share with your friends. Let them know um, so I can get to a thousand subscribers and maybe make five or ten bucks and buy me lunch. Well, nowadays, 30 bucks is what I'll need for lunch. But see ya. Bye.